Hey y'all, we are in Walmart picking up the ingredients for our homemade laundry detergent. It lasts our family for about two months and costs around $10. The first thing it, we need to get is this washing soda. This is usually on the bottom aisle of the laundry detergent aisle and you can get baking soda. We need four pounds of that. And the good thing about this recipe is if your family has an allergy to borax like ours, it doesn't have anything like that in there. And also it does not have the Zote soap. Um, we have done those before too and I didn't like those very much. This recipe is great and I have been using it for the past few years. So it's a little bit cheaper to get the baking soda here. So that's what we're gonna do, the Walmart brand of the baking soda. And the last ingredient is we need two of these salts and I started adding something new in too and I'll show you once we get home. Alright, we're back from Walmart and I have been using these three items to make, to make my laundry detergent for probably about four years and that is the best laundry detergent. It's all natural it doesn't have a fragrance or anything like that in it and has worked really great now the new thing that i have started adding in uh, is potassium carbonate and this is a basically a surfactant it basically acts as a degreaser and the reason that i started adding that in is because one of my children was getting into mechanics and had some greasy clothes and i needed to try and help with that the other stuff just quite wasn't cutting it with with how bad it was so you uh, do not need very much of this and I got this on eBay a long time ago but you can get this on Amazon depending upon the size that you buy um, it's somewhere between 10 to 20 dollars and you will see you just use just a little bit so this will last a good long time and uh, you can make this in different ways I'm gonna show you how to make it in a bowl uh, another option is you can put it in a jar and leave some space and you can just shake it up that way um, I usually do it in a food processor. It's just super easy for me But if you don't have that you can just make it in a bowl, too So I'm gonna show you how to do this So it's it is like super super simple and it's not like a liquid detergent or anything like that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all this to fit in here or not We're gonna see but I'm for right now just to help everything get mixed easier I'm just gonna do half of everything at a time and see how well that works and then we'll add in the salt and the salt really is more just for to make your clothes really soft it really does help and this stuff also helps slightly too but i mainly put it in there for a degreaser the salt does a really good job with that and we got a small little spout here <laughs> so um while i'm doing this and letting the salt go i'll tell you some other ways that i use this um i have used this to get stains out of carpets that has worked really really well for me um i've even used it in the carpet cleaner and it done amazing uh, another thing I've done and also did it worked on rugs and stuff too so not just carpets rugs too and another thing I have uh, furniture that was microfiber and I use this uh, laundry detergent recipe in warm water and rags and it comes so nice and clean and I was able to get stains out that I didn't think I would be able to get out so that works great for that um, other people have also used this as a um, and like for your dishwasher I do not have a dishwasher so I have not tried this I am the dishwasher so um, they have used this in like replacement of your dishwasher detergent and it works great for that too so um, what I did here I'm just doing like half the recipe so I'm just halving everything and I what I do is I'm just adding a teaspoon of that and I'm just gonna mix it just a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit easier to mix everything in but it's really not hard to do. You can kind of see the different, how everything has different shades or different textures and you can mix it all in together like that. And uh, let's see, so I was think, trying to remember what else I do. Now there was a couple other things. <laughs> and of course I can't remember. So we'll finish adding this in here. I'm trying to remember what it was. Do you remember what it was? I mean, you used it to clean the car seats and... Yeah. Um... I know there was something else but of course I can't remember <laughs> but it really is amazing um and I even one time I I know they I said you could use it with the dishwasher but one time I ran out of dish soap and I just used a little bit of this and it worked 
great and I was really really happy with it. It actually makes your stainless steel have such a nice shine on it. I was really impressed by that. It worked so good but um, I'm trying to think. I think that's everything that I did. I know there's something else and also this stuff I use in my little cleaner and I make a degreaser with that too. So that is like multi-useful for us in our household. We're almost done with the salt here but this makes a really big batch. Um, I'm not, I haven't worked out how much it actually is per load because we're not consistent enough. We probably do, I would say probably 12 loads a week if I had to guess, maybe more. Um, and this lasts us for two months. So that is not bad doing that many loads for like, it was what, like $11 or something. So it's not bad at all. I'll go ahead and add that in here. And depending upon um, how big of a load you're doing is dependent upon how much of this you're going to use. Um, what I generally do is I use about an eighth of a cup. I have a little measure here that's an eighth of a cup or if you don't have that, just somewhere between uh, one to two tablespoons. I think that's about two tablespoons for a full load, like a big load is what I do with that. But I mean, it's all dependent upon how dirty the clothes are and things like that. But after that, I just mix all this up. And then what I do is I store it in my jar here. You can tell it mixes up really, really easy. And if you are the negative to doing this with food processor, if you are doing that, it like pushes everything up and it like almost makes it a dust. You have to be really careful because uh, you don't want to breathe that in or anything, especially like not doing it in front of the air conditioner. <laughs> this is where my air conditioner is and it's like, I have to be really careful and mindful of that. So um, that's pretty much what we do here. And then I'll just put it all in this. And uh, like I said, I'll use about an eighth, yeah, that's an eighth cup. Yeah, an eighth of a cup of this per load if it's like a full load. And, and it's that simple. Also, you can't really overdo it either. It's, it doesn't like suds up and make a, you know, if you put, if you put three cups of it in there, it's not going to overflow your washing machine. Yeah, and another great thing too, thank you for saying that, is uh, I have used the laundry detergents with the bar soap before, and it almost leaves a film in the washing machine as well as your clothes. Your clothes almost get hard, and this does not do that. Like, I've been using this for years and have not had that issue. It is like the best thing ever. <laughs> so, um, I hope that y'all all find this helpful. I hope that y'all like it so much. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried it or if you have any other recipes. Another thing I just thought of is I have done a OxyClean and stuff. You can get that at the Dollar Tree too, like the off-brand. That works good too, but I found since I've been using this recipe, I really didn't need it anymore, but that's another option too, and I don't know if I said fragrance. <laughs> you could do that too, like the, um, what are they called? Like the downy scent beads or something like that. Our family can't handle that, but that's other options as well. So thank y'all all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye!